Welcome to this episode of Arts and Crafts for the Mobile Deer Hunter. In this episode, we're going to be pimping out the Latitude Outdoors Carbon Speed Series sticks. So, to get started, you need a pack of the Latitude Outdoors Speed Series sticks. Latitude has recently launched a couple new products, one of which being their stick illuminators, which is their glow-in-the-dark grip tape that is pre-cut for their steps. I think it looks super cool with the topo lines there. They also have their stealth strip kit that is custom cut to fit their sticks. So it's a minimal amount of work when you go to actually install them. And then the other thing we're gonna talk about is how to install these bungee loops on the bottom of your stick. So that way you can hook them onto your hip with a small carabiner and have them readily available as you ascend the tree. I've got a ton of questions about that. So we're gonna get started here, but that's what your sticks are gonna look like when it's all said and done. And that is a pretty sexy climbing stick if I do say so myself. This is what they're gonna look like in the packaging. There is two packs, one for the top step and one for the bottom step. So we're gonna take one of those, rip it open, this is what you got. So you basically have half and half. They fit just on there like that and you just peel off for the back and it has adhesive on it. So we'll start by doing one side of this and I'll show you what it looks like. But you just line it up in the grooves, press that down, and it's got a really nice strong adhesive on the back. So I don't think that's gonna wear or go anywhere. But I use minimal amount of lights as I set up in the morning and as I tear down at night to the point where I will use zero flashlight at all if I can help it. I just take my time and I've done it so many times that I just can feel my way through the process. But this glow in the dark helps you see exactly where you are. It's a lot safer that way when you're actually climbing. You just press that down, then you're good to go. There's the top step, and we're just gonna repeat the same process for the bottom. So now you have the top and bottom steps that not only are gonna give you extreme grip, so it doesn't matter if it's raining or if it's snowing, if it's icy out, you're gonna have really solid grip, but when it's low light or when it's dark, you're gonna be able to look down and actually see where your steps are. So if you wanted to climb down in the dark or climb up in the dark, you're gonna be able to see exactly where those steps are so you don't miss them and fall to the ground. So that's step one, that is the illuminators. They're sold in single packs, I believe, so you have to go to their website. I'll link to all of these down below in the description. And if you have three sticks, you're gonna want three packs of the illuminators. All right, so next we're gonna work on the stealth strips, and I'll show you how to put those on really quickly. This is a little bit more of a tedious process, and what's so nice about these kits is it eliminates a lot of that process. In the past, I would buy a large roll of stealth strips, and these things are awesome. I use them for everything mobile hunting. They last super long. The adhesive is second to none, but it is a process to cut them all up to fit, and as you can see, they're perfectly cut to length, and in the pack, there's gonna be two long ones and a, a smaller rectangle. These two long ones are basically the front and back of the stick. And then this one you're gonna cut up into strips and put on the bottom of the steps there. What I'm gonna do is start with that. So I'm gonna take this and you can either cut it into four or five strips. If you cut it into five, it's gonna fit a little more precisely. I cut them into four and just wrap the excess around the edges to give a little more coverage. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm not actually gonna measure and then we'll put these on and actually i cut this one way too fat so i'm gonna shave off just a little bit and i always save the excess it's amazing whether it's wrapping a carabiner or something that's jingling or some type of metal to metal contact on your backpack a zipper or whatever i save all these little pieces and i'm able to recycle them essentially throughout the season these pieces are going to go on the bottom of the steps on the top and the bottom and we are going to start with the top and i'll explain why in a second but same thing as the grip tape you just rip off the adhesive on the back and i always start right at the top and try to eyeball it and make sure it's about centered on there and the adhesive is really really strong but until you really set it you can kind of move it around so i just lightly put it on until I get into place, but that looks good. And I'll just kind of hit the edges and round those out. So now that bottom 
is covered. And we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. And whether it's these sticks or any other sticks and platform for that matter, I still strip all of my gear. I think being quiet is critical. It doesn't really matter how close you can get in to these bucks if you're just gonna make a bunch of noise setting up. So now I have both sides of that bottom done. We can do this one, but what I'm gonna do next, as you can see, it kind of wraps down the post a little bit. So now I'm gonna go to the back and I'm gonna put the long one on here. I'm gonna rip this off here. I'm gonna take the back off the adhesive and then I'm just gonna line it up as centered as I can. And like I said, if you don't press down, you can move it around a little bit as needed. And you can kind of look from the opposite side and make sure you got it kind of even on there. But what we're gonna do now is make a small cut on the top and the bottom where that attachment method goes and just get that excess out of there so it, it wraps nice and clean. So I just kind of ballpark it. These things are a little tough to cut, so you need some nice scissors. And then I just cut off that excess. And again, even a piece that size, I am saving. And I just stick them right back on the piece that it came. But now I can smooth out that side real nice. And by doing these tops first, how they kind of wrap down onto the post, when I secure this, it kind of holds that down and just makes it double secure. But now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just cut out or around that wing so it fits so it fits really nice cut off the excess and then we're just gonna smooth it down and once that stuff's on there unless you really beat them up these things are gonna stay on there forever that adhesive is so strong I love these things so now we have half done, and we're just gonna repeat what we did on the back and do that on the front. This is a stuff, in my opinion, that separates the good from the great. That attention and detail is gonna kill bucks. Smooth that side down, and we're kind of wrapping it over the seam from the back one. Now we got the front and the back, now we just gotta do the bottom. So I got my remaining two steps and for these i just kind of start them in the middle wrap that around as far as it'll go and so you can see from that side i'll overlap it just slightly keep it as centered as possible voila so now we have the illuminators we have the stealth strips and that way they're not going to make much noise if you do happen to clank them together obviously you try to be as careful as possible but you want to plan for the worst so if you do clank the sticks together, you don't want them to make a bunch of noise. Now what we're gonna do is add the little bungee loop to the bottom. And I do this on all of my sticks again, just so they can nest together. And then I hang them all from those loops and I tuck them into a carabiner, clip them into a carabiner on my hip. And then I just take them off one by one as I need the sticks as I'm climbing. So what I do is I buy a roll of shot cord. This is 1 8 shot cord, like bungee shot cord, and I'll link to this specific one down below in the description. But I buy a 25 foot roll, it's like five or six bucks, and I use this stuff for everything. I found that about 14 inches or 13 and a half inches is a pretty good length, and it gives you a loop just big enough to, to get around a carabiner and hang from. So all I do, is I tie a square knot on each side of the post. And I'll demonstrate for anybody that does not know what a square knot is. And a square knot is basically left over right and right over left. So right here, this is the left one, left over right, and then right over left. Pull that tight, kind of cinch it down so now we have half of it done, and now we just need to tie onto the other side. This does take some nimble fingers, but you should be able to figure it out. So we'll go left over right, right over left, pull tight. 
and cinch that down. And now we have ourselves a loop. So when I get to my tree, I would have my first stick attached to the tree, and then I would take my other two or three, depending on how many I'm carrying, hang them all by the bungee, hook them to my hip, and then climb. And then again, I'm able to take one off at a time. The other ones are still attached to my hip, so I can be hands-free, let those hang, put on the next stick, and continue until I'm at whatever height I want to hunt from. So now I have these sticks that can nest together and pack super, super neat. The last thing that I do, whereas Latitude sends you these really nice straps to basically keep your sticks secured, they don't go anywhere. So a lot of people use that strap and pack it in, but I like to have a strap that's attached all the time. So the solution to that that I've found that I'm pretty happy with, I ran it all this last year, is to basically have a loop on one of these that's fixed and I just wrap it around all of them and I'll show you what I mean in a second. For this, you're gonna need about 15 or 16 inches of that same shot cord and I basically just tie an overhand knot so I can have a big loop. So I'm gonna wrap that through itself, keep that knot as close to the tag ends as possible really cinch that down. So now what I'm left with is a bungee loop. And what I do is I take that, and I take the end that does not have the knot, and I put it through that loop, and run it through. So now essentially I have this bungee loop coming off of the other bat wing. That bungee loop does not interfere with the attachment method when I'm actually putting on these sticks to the tree. So what that loop allows me to do is have all of my sticks nested together and I can take that loop, wrap it around, hook it to the bat wing from the same stick that I just attached that to. And now these things are bungeed together. They're not gonna move and when I get to my tree I can just pop that off, take off my bottom stick, put that one on the tree, and then wrap these ones back up, and then I can attach them to my hip. They're not gonna be swinging together and banging around as I'm climbing, and I can just reach down, unhook it again, pull off the next stick, and so on and so forth. So these are what the sticks are gonna look like when they're all done, and you only need that big loop on one of your sticks because that's gonna wrap around all of them and hold them together. But now you essentially have the glow-in-the-dark grip tape, the illuminators, you have stealth strips, which are gonna keep them quiet, and then you have your bungees to one, keep them together, and then so you can attach them to your hip and ascend the tree hands-free. I've spent a ton of time hunting with these in the last year, and I would not change a single thing about my setup. I think they are perfect the way that they are once you get all these mods on them. So I hope this helps you guys out. If you have questions about how I did certain things, drop those down below in the comments. A lot of people have asked about my previous videos. I'll link to some of those in the description as well, so you can see my entire process about how I climb the tree in one trip, and some of the other things that I like to do to make things even more efficient while saddle hunting. Make sure to check these products out in the links in the description. I do get a little bit of kickback if you use those links, so I definitely appreciate it if you use those. Just helps me be able to afford to make more videos just like this one. But appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video.